I, I forgot to turn on the recording so that I could give people information about today. So just a reminder, um, we are talking about our quarter one summary letter home. So Liam, get back in there and do your letter, okay? Don't just turn it into me blank. That doesn't magically make it happen, okay? You have to actually do it, all right? Um, wow, Jackson, that is an exciting background you have there. Zeke, you had a question, go ahead. Oh, I just said busted. Right, um, I mean, I do let your parents know that you haven't actually done the things when you haven't done them. All right, so we are wrapping up the first quarter of school, eight weeks, check. We are wrapping it up today. Woo -woo. You guys are rock stars. You've done it, you survived the first quarter of school. Um, if you are worried about your grades, let's talk a little bit about that. It is the first quarter, and remember you have the rest of the year to continue working up to where you want to be. So if you don't have the grade you want yet, um, there's still plenty of opportunities to improve your grade, okay? There are lots of ways that you can do that. Um, so if you are looking at your grade and you're like, man, I have a lot of twos and threes, and you know I, that's not the greatest um, thing, that's okay. You have lots of opportunities to improve and to get better and to um, work on that grade. Here's the thing that I will say, guys. Who is ultimately responsible for your education? <laughs> Taylor, who is ultimately Us. responsible for your education? Us. Yes, you guys, as individuals, you are the one that is ultimately responsible. If you are, I don't care if you have the worst teacher. I know that art teacher, she sucks, okay? She's a real bad teacher and she's not very energetic and she gives the worst assignments and she's boring and she confuses everyone. I know, I've heard all rumors. She is the worst, okay? I don't care if you have the worst teacher, okay? Um, you still have a responsibility here, okay? Um, there are going to be times that you get a grade that is unfair, that probably is not an accurate reflection of your um, ability. That does happen from time to time, and that sucks. Um, and we, you know, sometimes we just have to live within that. Um, but there are a lot of things that you guys can do. So I don't care if you have the most boring teacher. Um, the worst teacher, if you're super confused, there are still things that you can do. Now, it is also my responsibility and your other teachers, we're trying to do our best too. We want, we don't want to be boring, okay? We don't want to be boring. We don't want to be confusing. Um, but you guys are in sixth grade now, all right? You have to start taking responsibility. You're not babies anymore, all right? You're not in kindergarten. Um, so you have to start taking some responsibility. So if you are struggling in something, you need to be emailing your teacher often, as often as you need to, okay, to get your questions answered, all right? You can also reach out to me. If you're not getting any feedback or response from the teacher that you are emailing, um, email me because maybe I can help you. We get together as a sixth grade team every week. That's what we do on Fridays. We don't just get Fridays off, all right? It's not just fun times on Fridays for teachers, okay? We're at work, we're getting together. We are looking at what's happening in our classes. We are talking about all of you. We are talking about ways that we can help you be more successful. We, were, we are talking about like, oh man, uh, it looks like a bunch of my students were struggling with this. What can I do to make it better? We, we are doing all of these things on Fridays. So we spend all of our Fridays um, working for you, okay? So if you are not getting the response back from that teacher, then email me, okay? Or if there's another teacher that you really connect with, email that teacher, even if it's not their class, um, they can bring that information to the table and say, hey, Ms. Cortez, uh, it sounds like you have a couple kids that are really struggling with this, you know, with this class or with this thing, you know, what what can we do to make it better? You know, they emailed me because they tried to email you and you were you were kind of ignoring them because you're like the worst teacher ever. Um, it can be hard, okay? But we are in this together. So you can email your teachers, okay? You can email me. You can 
um, go back and watch any recordings that your teachers post. You can go back and review any of the stuff in Google Classroom that they post. You can ask questions about the things that you're doing. You can do, like if you're really struggling with something and you just don't understand this concept. So let me give you an example. <clears throat> Last week, my sixth grader was confused about a math thing, okay? And she did really terrible on a homework um, assignment because she got confused. So we sat down together and really she did this a little bit. She started looking up online um, this particular concept. I think you guys are learning about like polygons and area and so I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, that's, that's not an area of expertise for me, so I don't have the answer. So she went online and she started looking things up that um, might be able to help explain to her this concept a little bit more. So there's things that you can do um, beyond here in this classroom that you can, I mean, y'all, you can watch YouTube videos. There's tons of stuff online to help you understand um, these concepts. You know, you can jump on Khan Academy. Um, and yeah, there are going to be times that you get a grade that is totally unfair. Maybe the teacher just did not like, you know, look at something fairly or you got confused or whatever it is. Um, but we're in this together, okay? We are in this together. And as your teachers, we want you to be successful. We want to help you. Okay, we're not here to destroy your life. We're not here to, you know, just pile on the homework. I'm not eight and I'm not, I'm not trying to destroy your life. <laughs> I don't know if you were giving me a sassy comment or just singing along with a song, but it was funny. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop ranting and about that. Ollie has a question. Go for it, Ollie. Um, I can't find the grades for art. Mm. That's because I haven't put one in yet. Okay, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Being a teacher is hard sometimes, too, and I sometimes get behind on things and I feel overwhelmed sometimes too and I'm like oh crap I have 140 students that I need to do you know all this grading for so <laughs> I sound like your mom well good then your mom and I are on the same page so for art I am actually going to put your grade in <clears throat> next week when we share our summative so the only thing that you have right now in art is some formatives so let's jump to art really fast because you brought up a really good point. The only thing on Manage Back right now are just the comments that I gave you and they're all formative. So right now you're gonna see, oh, I got a practitioner or I got an expert on the last, the last task that we did I think was our, the last one that I graded was our facial expression, um, our facial expressions um, thing. I'm pretty sure that's the one that we did last. And so you're just going to have like a word or phrase. So when you do your letter, you can just say, hey, I got a practitioner on my last thing. I earned a practitioner level on my last formative task in art. And that means that I'm at grade level, that I'm doing it and that I'm doing a good job. Um, Ollie, did you have another question or you good? I'm good. Aiden and then Brooks, go ahead. Yeah, but some like my older grades aren't graded. In my class or in other classes? Like in other classes. Oh, okay. So if- Old ones. Really? Okay. So remember, um, some of you might have your grade feedback in Google Classroom. So check there as well, Aiden. Um, and if it's not there, um, teachers are, are, we're supposed to get our grades finalized and everything this weekend. So you might have to wait until Monday. I'm not gonna send these letters out um, until, uh, probably Monday, um, just to give you guys enough time to review all of your grades and everything like that. So if you're not sure, or if you have a bunch of stuff that hasn't been graded yet, um, you know, just maybe email your teacher and be like, Hey, where am I at? Am I doing okay? Um, or just look at the most recent thing that has been graded. Brooks. So, um, for our grades, are we going to get a total class grade at the end of each unit or quarter or only at midterm? At the end of the quarter. So your grades will be available on Skyward. I want to say the 16th. <clears throat> I feel like that's. So you'll be able to go into Skyward. 
um, on your student profile and there'll be a little button on the left that says portfolio or reports or something. And you'll be able to click on that and see your overall class grade. Also, your teachers will put your class grade in a little comment bubble on manage back um, by this uh, weekend. So you will be able to see your whole class grade as well where you're at right now. Okay, other questions, Nathan, or are you just giving me a high fives? Ollie, go for it. French grade, I got a three for um, listening, um, four, five for reading and six for writing. What should I put down on my thing? Good question, Ollie. I like that you brought that up too because you don't always know, right? So remember how we went over last time the different criteria. Um, you're you're going to have to make an educated guess. <clears throat> so if I were, it, let's just say for pretend that that was your overall grade and you had a three, a five, and a six, I'm going to look, you're probably going to have, <clears throat> I would say probably either a four or a five, depending on other tasks that you have done overall in that class. And that's a great place to be at first quarter, honestly. Four or five at, at the first quarter is good. Taylor. Um, so like, could you like average them if like you got like three grades? You can, it's not gonna be perfect if you do it that way, um, but it can give you an idea. It'll give you a good idea. Ollie, did you have another question? Okay. I am also gonna be uh, honest with you. I still haven't had a chance to finish watching the videos from our ultimate scavenger hunt. So I wanted to announce the winner today and I haven't had a chance to finish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an option here in a second. Bella has a quick question, go for it, Bella. So did they update manage back? Because it's definitely laid out different than it was like a couple months ago. Probably, probably, probably. they're always updating it. Okay, let, I don't know, let's take a look-see here. I'll look at mine. Mine looks a little bit different than yours. Cause now it's um, like more confusing for me to like yeah. figure out my grades. Cause I feel like I, it doesn't say my grades. Okay, I am going to, try logging in with the student one and I'll show you one more time kind of how it goes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. I will share my screen with you. All right. So when you first log in, it's probably going to look like this. Okay. Then you're going to go over here to the left hand. You can pop this menu button open. Go to classes and you want to see all of your classes, okay? Then you're gonna choose the class that you wanna look at. And then you do have to take a couple of steps. You're gonna to have to go to tasks and units and then show all tasks, okay? And then in art, I'm only giving you guys comments on your formatives because we have, we're only just now finishing our first summative. So you don't have a summative grade yet in art. So for you guys, um, you're going to take like um, the most recent grade that we had for our formative, which was your facial expression and motion display, and just say, hey, on the most recent formative, I earned an expert or practitioner or whatever. Um, okay. Does that make sense? Thank you. Yeah, Taylor has a question. Um, so like, I had to like join like for like half of my classes and then those classes that I joined, it doesn't really show my grades as easily as it does on like the class classes that were there when I got on Manage Back. Okay, so you shouldn't have to join any classes on Manage Back. Your teachers, your teachers have to add you to Manage Back. The only ones that you joined would have been in Google Classroom. So Manage Back is a little bit different because that's the teachers have to add you to that. So when you guys log into Manage Back. Um, when you click this classes tab, all eight of your classes should show up here, okay? If they're not, you need to email that teacher and be like, hey, you didn't add me to Lang and Lit or whatever into Manage Back. So in Google Classroom, it's a little bit different. Um, and you're right, it's not gonna show your grades as easily in Google Classroom because um, 
it's not set up to do, I don't even know I'm showing you that, but Google Classroom isn't set up to necessarily do grades in the same way as Manage Back. And so it's a little bit different. So you should have all eight classes in Manage Back. Okay, if you didn't do the scavenger hunt, that is totally okay. These little enrichment activities are, um, are for fun. And um, so far I was able to watch Jackson and Jihad and, um, oh, who else did I watch? I watched Liberty and, dang it, there was one other person that I watched. I can't remember. I have to go to my thing really fast. The ones that I watched. There were just a couple that I hadn't done yet. Oh, Grayson. Yes. Okay. So I just, I haven't had a chance to watch Mabel or um, Andrea. So Mabel and Andrea's not with us today because she's in different advisory. But Mabel, how many, um, how many uh, did you get on the ultimate scavenger hunt? I think I did seven of the eight items. Okay, and then um, Liberty, there, double, uh, there were a couple that I, I was trying to count really fast, but since you had two videos, I was trying to keep track. Liberty, how many did you do? I don't exactly know the number. I can check in between class and stuff. That's okay. See, or even right now. That's but okay. I think I had somewhere close to like 15. Okay, Jihad, how many did you do? Because same thing, you had two videos, so I, I want to make sure that I didn't miscount. I can't remember really, so I'm gonna look into the advisory. And try That's okay. To... Do you think you had a 50? I'm pretty sure I have like a 50. Around 50, okay. That's kind of what I was thinking too. So I was thinking Grayson and Jihad um, had the most um, because Grayson had like 55. It was Grayson. Yeah, Grayson, I think. They had, and uh, today I'm going to show you my ultimate scavenger hunt. Uh, when... Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jackson, I think you got cut off um, with your video. So if you had more, um, I might have missed some. since I only set the video for five minutes because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take people to go through all their things. Um, so double check. So right now, the leaderboard is Grayson and Jihad, because um, they both had close to him. Yeah, great, uh, Jihad. Also in my video, I actually, uh, I wanted to do, because uh, on my part one, I missed like a bunch, and then I tried to do a part two. Then after my part two, yeah. I looked, I recognized I missed so many more. Okay. And I'm like, oh, gosh, That's okay. I don't want to do part three. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, so right now the leader, I think the leader so far is Grayson, followed by Jihad. Taylor. I did one, but I couldn't record it on Flipgrid, so I uploaded it to you. Oh, did where I did you put it? it? Did you put it on the Google Classroom? No, I think I just emailed it to you. Or oh. I, up I uploaded it, but I don't know how many items I had, though. Yeah, I'm going to look and see if I got that email. Um, let me see. Okay, I got... Hmm, hmm. I'm not sure, Taylor. I'm going to have to double check because I do have one video from you, but I think it was from something else. I think it was your facial expression thing. All right, but that's okay. We're... Oh, Liberty only got 20. That's okay. All right. I'm just excited that you guys did this. So what I'm going to do for today, the last um, few minutes, I'm going to pop you guys into um, some breakouts so that you can have some socializing time. Um, if you find out, if any of you discover that you have, uh, that you did more than 55 items on the ultimate scavenger hunt, uh, send me a little chat message or whatever. And, uh, uh, ooh, Jihad got 56. Okay, Grayson might have to come back and <laughs> add a couple more just to, uh, just to fight back. Um, yes, okay.
I'm gonna pop you guys into some social -y groups. Um, let's see, if you want to let me know um, if there's a particular if there's a particular topic or sp specific people that you want to be in a breakout room, I will pop you into those breakouts. And uh, uh, what about Bodie? I don't know. What about Bodie? <sighs> okay. All right. We got Liberty. I am disappointed. Why are you disappointed, Liam? I would be disappointed. Random. I only got like two things. That's why I'm disappointed in myself. Oh, that's okay. Don't forget to go back in and do your actual um, reflection for quarter one letter. Jackson, you think you got 70 items? Well, you definitely got cut off then in the video. I didn't get any because I had to fly out at four in the morning. That is totally okay. All right, I'm going to pop you guys into some breakouts so you can have some social times. So let me... Hi, everybody. Have a good Me and Evie were talking about one of the most dangerous spiders, and it's really creepy. Ew, that's creepy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Miss Cortez. Bye, Alicia. Bye, everyone. Bye.